Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Arna, and I am going to show you how you can use our web tools and put them on a Facebook page. Just a short description of the web tools. We have seven different iframes. There's catalog, register, manage, selection. These are primary frames. And then we have so-called worker frames, which is catalog, basket, menu, and message. Catalog is essentially the shopping cart. Register is a club to sign up. Manage is account management or history. Selection is for member choice, allocation clubs, and futures, and it includes order and product limits. Catalog basket is a little um, mini basket that displays what the contents of your uh, shopping basket during the shopping process while you're in the in the catalog. Catalog menu is is just that it's a menu for the catalogs. You can arrange your products by various headers and subheaders. And the catalog message is a window to display messages to the user. These frames can provide you with various scenarios that, that you need for wine club management. One is plain shopping cart without uh, member uh, sign up. And then we have shopping cart with member sign up, which in other words, there's a join now button. Simple club sign up, which is has that single purpose is to sign up somebody for one or more clubs. Great for great for the use in kiosks. Simple account management, simple member choice. And then we have a combinations where you have account management, member choice, combined account management, shopping cart combined. This is where you're logging in and then you can shop as a member. And then shopping cart with account management, which is slightly different, where you're coming in as a guest and you may log in, hop over to your account, and go back to shopping. Before you start using any of our frames, we recommend you go and look at examples of them on our website. We have examples of the Facebook, the various uh, shopping cart and the temp. We have three different templates for that. Three different designs. An example here of our shopping cart. This is design number two. This looks like so. And you can click on a bottle and see the details. Go back. And um, all the other combinations that I just described are shown here too. Then we have a manual which describes how to use these things, how to include them in various environments, the structure of the, uh, the style sheets. You can go into a style sheet and see the various classes that are being used should you want to change the appearance in some way. Now let's go back to Facebook. And what our job here is to add a, these are called in Facebook speak tabs. And this is a page. We have one page with tabs here. And what we want to do is add a new tab. As a designer of uh, using our web tools, you'll be provided with this sample code. This is both sample HTML and a style sheet for the host. The host is the, the website that you're working on, your, your website. We call that the host. And the host contains iframes. And our, what we're trying to do today is insert one iframe 
Well, I'm going to actually do two. So this is the club sign up. We're going to try to put this code into Facebook. Let me go back to Facebook. In Facebook, in order to add these tabs, you go up into the search and you say, you type in static, and it immediately recognizes static HTML iframe tabs. Look at that. And I'm going to use one of these. I've already installed this on mine. You would click this button and it would add your first frame. But we've already added it. This would just generate an error. It would say that we've already got it. I'm going to go backwards here, and we're going to go back to the main page. There we go. This is our Facebook page. page. Now, one thing it took me a little while to learn is once you've added one using that search static HTML, how do I add the second one? It was not clear, but you click on your first one that you added. And you go to your Edit tab. And Action, Add, Remove tab. I'm going to go Club. Sign up. And we'll put that text in here too. And then add tab. Go to tab. That opened another tab in the browser. I'm going to close the one we had. And here you see club sign up. And there's a big green button saying set up tab. So let's click on that. Here we are. And here in the setup, there are three tabs. One for the HTML, one for the style sheet, and one for any JavaScript. We only need to use the first two. I'm going to delete what's there now. And go back to the sample code, which you would have got from from our Sedacta Club in support. We're going to cut out that piece, paste it in, and we need to take this little command here and insert that after the script, like so. This is their syntax. So that will include the style sheet. But what we, do, what we have here is we have um, a script. And we also attempting to um, capture the resize message, message on the body tag. And then here is our um, HTML. This is the weight cursor, this line, this section here. And this is the actual club sign up iframe. So let's go get the style sheet. Going back to the sample code, go down to the bottom, and we give you all these style sheet classes, and these are the classes for the iframes and the divs that surround them. Again, you need to read our manual to understand what I just said. I'm going to just copy all our style sheets. Even though we're not using all of this, I'm just going to copy the whole thing and pop it in to my style tab. I don't need to comment out, uncomment, or delete uh, this that was here when it was installed for us. So that's the, that's the style sheet here. We have the HTML, we have this keyword, and then I'm going to publish. It says all saved. Now let's say view on Facebook and see what happens.
There it is. Now you can see when I click back here on the um, our tab for club sign-up, see how it's scooted up this part of it missing? That's because in the style sheet, let's say edit tab again, in the style sheet that I copied in for the registration tab, let's go down here. And here we go. You see where it says minus 100? So, not exactly very intuitive. So there we go, minus 100. And that's why the thing shifted up. That was in the, the sample code that I copied in. Well, I don't want any minus anything. I just want zero. I made this mistake deliberately to show you how you can fiddle with the style sheet. I'm going to save and publish. And then we're going to view on Facebook. You see, now it's nicely positioned to where we want it to be. See that? And if I view tab as a visitor, you'll see what my visitors see. And here I could pick this club, this club, let's say I want to join two. Continue. It's the, uh, re the review stage of the club sign up. Proceed to registration. And here is where I would start to fill in my um, details. The password. I'm going to do a shipping. Provide a birth date. Credit card number. Uh, we have this, there, there's a number you can use to simulate a credit card. It's a 4 and 15 ones. And when I click on this, I am a member. And it goes back to accepting the next member. Now you'll notice that during that process, it scrolled the screen to a particular location, which didn't fit. I'm going to go here back to Edit Tab. And you can see that the scroll point is set at this, this scroll point here is the, the the Y distance in pixels from the top of the screen to the top of the form that would happen when you go to the new page. This you can then manipulate that fits your 
layout, whatever it is, on your screen in Facebook. So here I am. I've got a new tab. And let's do another one. Let's add a shopping cart. So all these windows I need to get rid of. So I'm just going to click on Home. Set me back to being an author. Click on Club Sign Up. And I'm going to get that Edit tab again. Click Edit tab. Action. Add. We'll say shopping cart. Or we'll just say shop. That's what's going to display to the user. And go add tab. Go to tab. And again. And look, we have another tab. Let's go set up tab. And it's just like last time. I'm going to get rid of all this. Go back to my sample code. Now this sample code, there are instructions here on what you would do to use the sample code and use it for your particular database which is described up here in the top and it's also described on our in our uh, online manual. So let's go down to shopping cart. So I want to grab this section right here. And we'll just paste it in. Go to this tab over here, and I still have to copy this little keyword, which is something that is Facebook specific. Put that after the script. And actually, I'm going to take the this, this HTML here is for a. Um, login button to appear on the page. I want that to appear after the style sheet. So that the style sheet gets the um, style defined by the class ACS login. I'll back over here. Now I'm going to go back to my sample code and grab the entire style sheet that I have in my sample. And this would be something that you would need to um, make minor changes to, like we just changed that minus 100 in the, earth in the previous example. Paste it in. This is the the frame catalog, and let's just have a look what catalog frame div. It also has a minus 100. This is to scoot it up higher. And I want to show that little boo-boo so that you get the understanding of how the styles work. Go back to index. So I should be ready. I'll save and publish. And then I can view on Facebook, and we'll see what happens. There it is. There's your shopping cart. If I click Member Login, I'm going to get the login screen. Go back to edit. And 
and I need to get rid of that minus 100. For the account again, kind of long frame. We're not going to scoop that up at all. I'm not going to give it a negative margin. But I want to color the background instead of being white. I'm going to change the background to be uh, pink. Save. You on Facebook. Now I should have a pink shopping cart with nothing truncated. See that now? Because it moved it down, I got all this text that was gone before. Yeah, there's some minor things like this member login. I would, in fact, move the thing down a bit instead of we put the top margin as zero. I want to make it move it down 20. So I'm going to go to the hello frame. Twenty. See what happens. Save and publish. And view on Facebook. Hmm. It left me the little blank white space, but it's better better than it was before. I don't want a pink background anyway, so it's all going to be white. But just it gives you the shows you how the control works. And if I if I click on this bottle, there is my details on that one bottle. Now, Facebook is, is a little unique uh, compared to other environments is that the frame itself, um, see the pink area is, is the frame. It can become bigger, but it can never become smaller, which other environments will do. So let's make, let's get rid of the pink. white and I might not even want that member login to appear at all Let's take that out and the other thing you'll notice that on Facebook there is no room for the menu so even though I have the menu iframe it is banished behind somewhere um, so I'm going to just strip out the menu. It has no value on Facebook. That is one of the downsides to Facebook. In the other videos, you'll see how it, how we do this on um, WordPress and Squarespace, where the menu will be relevant. View on Facebook. And there we have it. There's your shopping cart. And if I was to add something to the cart, the cart sits at the top. In other environments, that mini basket will float and, and remain stationary. That does not work in Facebook because this is really iframes inside of an iframe. So the mini basket can never leave the boundaries of the, of the frame it's sitting inside, and it's not sitting in the main body of the page. 
that shows you how simple it is to add this to Facebook. Now, one of the things I struggled with, with was how do I get rid of a tab? So I thought I'd like to show you that so that you know that too. So let's say I'm going to get rid of shop. Oh, actually, before I do that, before I get rid of shop, let's rearrange the um, ordering of these. So you go up here to settings. And you pick edit page. And let's say I want shop to be above manage and after like. So I would just pick it up, drag it, and drop it. Now when I go back to the page, you'll see shops moved up to there. Now I want to get rid of shop. I want to show you that because that wasn't easy to figure out and the documentation uh, is incorrect. So I go back to edit page and click on sh settings for shop and then you say edit settings remove OK save You'll see shop still there, but I'm going to refresh the page. In my case, the F5 key, and shop is gone. And I'm going to go back to the page, and I have welcome five. This, this was obviously in something I don't want. Uh, there is some sort of craziness going on with that iframe tab creator. Go back here. I need to get rid of that. Settings. Edit settings. Not available. I'll just turn it off. Save. Go back to page. And now we have a nice clean layout again. There we have it. It's a short and sweet description of how you can add iframes into Facebook. Thanks a lot for coming and watching this. And um, if you have any questions, please contact support, and we'll help you with any of your implementation questions. Thank you so much, and goodbye.